Where do I start when I want to renovate my medical office? That's a question we get a lot. Three main elements. Number one, determine your budget. Your budget, if you're owning your space, will be determined than if you're leasing your space. If you're owning your space, your budget directly connected to what is your design, what is your uh, con contractor breakdowns of like how the design is gonna go about, which we'll talk about that. The second part is if you're leasing, you're, you're gonna fall into the category of understanding what is your TI allowance. TI allowance stands for Tenant Improvement Allowance. So if you want to understand and get a number, you have to have a medical broker. Actually, it's not a have to, but we highly, highly recommend because the communication between you and the building will be so much smoother because you have a professional who understands all the codes, all the law and regulations. So it's a choice, but it's a great choice to have. So not just any kind of brokers, the brokers who specialize in medical. So they talk to the building for you and usually the TI allowance as, at the time that you renew your lease or there's some expect, exception into the whole process. Number two is your timing. So if you're staying in the same location, which is, which is your space that you're practicing in, you wanna make sure you really, really plan it wisely for your timing. What that means, if you're operating and doing work and seeing patients and doing operation in your space and you wanna start renovation, you wanna make sure you don't, if you can, not shutting down your space uh, for a long time for the construction, then you plan it ahead of time so you do it in phases. Plan it accordingly of what is your preference. Our preference for our client is let's see how we cannot shut it down or if we can do construction at nighttime or weekends. You have to figure out about your location, how your situation is. Sometimes we use holidays for that um, purposes. So once you plan it ahead of time and you know you have a uh, crystal clear path, it would be so much easier. We do it usually in two phases. We block off like one part of the office, get the re renovation done, and that usually happens when there's two exits into one space. That would be something that is really important to think about it because if every day that <clears throat> the flow of your practice is out, meaning like your, your team is gonna be uncomfortable, there's a lot of changes, your performance of your team is gonna go lower and you lose money. You wanna make sure you're at your best to perform for your patients, for your staff, and also have a practice that it has, that it goes through this process so much more smoother by having a crystal clear timing plan. Number three is the team you put together. Understand that your project and your renovation will be as good as the team you put together. Who are those teams? Is your designer, the architect, the contractor, the building management who's going to be part of this so to answer questions if, if that's a leasing building if even if you, you if this is your own building you want to make sure you dedicate one person who has more information about your building where is the best place to park where is the best place to put the uh, trash bin what, where are all the blueprints and the plans for the building so have one dedicated person because it can consume a lot of time and energy from your team and yourself. So the team can be your someone from your practice, the designer, the architect, the contractor. And when you do that ahead of time, meaning like sometimes uh, some of our clients come to us like three, four months ahead of time. So we have leverage of like really taking the time and looking at the full spectrum of how we can plan it. So it doesn't affect the practice and the time and the hours of operation. Hope that helps. Uh, this is our goal to give you the best information so your practice thrive and your design that heals.